very awesome people backstage who are waiting to see you. So we'd like some noise for Melanie and Dom, please. So I feel like anywhere would just be incredibly exciting. Like just going to the next place would be like, Whoa! do you think Winona would take Waverly to somewhere she's already like Winona's Maybe. already been? Maybe. Or break new ground. Oof. I feel like Start Winona fresh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Winona loves Europe. Yeah. Oh, that's your call, but yeah. No, yes, concur. So let's go for Europe. Okay. I feel like maybe France. Oh. Um, because of all the French kissing. <laughs> exactly. I like this, yeah. Yeah. There's a great sex club in, <laughs> or a sex museum. That would France. be Winona, and then Waverly would be like, sis, really? Yeah, let's go to the Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, let's so go fuck shit up. We've gone with France, yeah? Sweet. Yeah. Okay, so this one's a good UK-related one. So, the Earp sisters and Nicole, once they figured out the leaving thing, are visiting the UK. Which <laughs> member of the royal family is Winona going to hit on? This is if we don't include Doc, of course, like if, you know. Sorry? This, this is if we ignore the fact that she may be dating Doc at this point. So which one yeah. would she hit on? Well, I think, first of all, oh, the queen. <laughs> yes, I think that's correct. <laughs> because that's a boss right there. Yeah. Like, whatever you think about the monarchy, that, that woman has... <laughs> money, yes. I think Winona's not at the stage of marrying for money yet. Yet. The sidebar, I always said it, if it doesn't work out with Jeff, I'm marrying for money because, because love didn't work. That's sad, Melanie. And if you do the same thing again, that's just ridiculous. Who do you so, think so Winona So we're going with the queen, yeah? Is that the... the uh... I'm just... I'm like the least British person when it comes to the royal family. I'm like, sorry. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna say the queen just because she's seen some shit. But then they'd fight. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we got a question from Kaz C. If Willa hadn't been kidnapped, what do you think it would have been like growing up together, and how do you think Winona and Waverly's relationship would have turned out? Ooh, great question. <laughs> if you like her better than me. <laughs> I have abandonment issues. I need you to choose me. Hug, same. Okay. Like. <laughs> Like it would have been Winona and Wave, but the Winona and Willa, and th that's the truth, isn't it? And then Waves would have been a little bit of a loner. I choose not to believe that. Okay. 
Awesome. But I think because, you know, when kids are little, um, can we hear each other better today? I feel like we have like an echo yeah. today, okay. which kind of feels mysterious. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think Waverly would have been really young, and so that it's at that weird part where you're like, oh, we're cooler because we're like older and doing cool shit. And then we would have aged out of it. And then we would have been like, oh, you know, I was wrong about you. You're my favorite. <laughs> I whispered, you're my favorite. <laughs> I think that's fair, because that's happened with my brothers, because they're like 15 and 12 years older than me. So like, it took, they, they used to bully me really bad when I was little. But then as we grew up, we're now like really close. So I think that's probably what would have happened as well. Relatable. But anyway, what do you think? Yeah, well, it, I really don't know what Willa, I feel like Willa really didn't like waves. Well, then fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like Winona would, I don't know, at what age do you think that they would have then come back together? 69. <laughs> Appropriate. <laughs> I feel like once you got past teenage years, and if they're a little bit older, then they kind of yeah. can bond a bit more about stuff. Because when you're little, it's just not. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Actually, no, I have an answer. Once Waverly would have started dating, because then you can kind of, probably the protective gene comes in, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, around there. Cool. Sweet. Um, so a question from Vicky, but I don't believe it's the same Vicky. Um, what is a fun sister activity Winona and Waverly do besides drinking together? <laughs> Maybe list a good night out or things you think they do around the house. Remember that time in real life? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I think there's, yeah. <laughs> I have seen that. Oh, I will never forget. That I, you can't. You can't. It's impossible. Um, no, for realsies though, like escape room. Cool. Does Wayne own a skateboard? <laughs> Is that what you just said? <laughs> escape room. Oh. <laughs> Not the same thing. No. no. Mm -hmm. Sure. Is there an escape room in purgatory? It would be... Yeah, Nicole built it. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole needs to learn how to escape. That's what the thing is. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Why not? Oh, my God. Imagine Nicole built an escape room and that there was a portal so that she could escape purgatory. That's the end game. And then Winona accidentally, like, fucked it up and... <laughs> They'll end up in the alternate universe somewhere, yeah. Yeah. With um, Eve. Oh, yeah, what's going on with Eve? Sorry. I don't know, Sorry. we like, we need a season five to find out where Eve is. Agreed. Absolutely agree. On that one. Yeah, I pulled that out of my ass. I don't think it would be an escape room. What would we do together? <sighs> well... Obviously, Waves would be like really trying to, to get the arts and crafts out, but I feel like Winona would just be like, okay, I'm gonna stick this here, stick this here, and then yes, bye. The tampon angel. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, I mean, unless you had penis shaped stickers, in which case you'd be fine. Hmm? Unless she ha you had penis shaped stickers, she'd be fine. She can play with those. Have penis shaped stickers? Tu peux compris? The arts and crafts. I just didn't quite hear. What kind of shape? Because stickers? there were penis-shaped stickers for the penis. arts and crafts. Okay, <laughs> okay. Sorry, didn't quite compute. It's early. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we hello. have lights. It's because I swore on stage. We now have light. <laughs> awesome. Ah, oh, man. Now I'm awake. Oh, hey, Tim. 
Hi. Hi, Tim. <laughs> Such yeah, okay. a good face. Arts and crafts in an escape room. Sure. <clears throat> Let's go for that. Yeah. Let's go for that. Um, so a question for me. What sort of shows do you like at the moment and what shows do you think your characters would like to watch? Oh. oh. The only show that I've been re-watching at the moment has been Winona Up. <laughs> A great taste. Yeah, that was a great. Uh, <gasps> oh, yay. We're wearing the same earrings <laughs> and the same bracelet. Oh, my sisters. Um, so, yeah, I've been re watching Winona Up because it's amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Like, really, really, really. It's been so cool to rewatch it with like a bit of distance and perspective, and now I just can fully enjoy it. And you are just. Well, I there do this no back words. to you. There are no words. Really. Um, what else have I watched recently? I love I love Sex Education. Same. It's a good show. Um, Great question. Would, no, you go, you go. Well, I was just wondering if Waverly would be watching documentaries. Yeah, I feel like she'd be watching documentaries from time to time. Yeah. For sure. How about you? What have you been watching? Oh, right, right, right. Videos of my kids. I'm so bad. I'm so bad because when you're in TV, it feels like homework to watch TV. Or you're like, ugh. Like you're comparing, there's the unhealthy, for me, there's like an unhealthy piece that I'm like, I shouldn't. So I try to watch things that have nothing to do with what I do. So like, I've been watching an Italian reality show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed with Fedez, who's like an Italian rapper. And um, his relationship with his wife, they have two kids. Anyway, it's, it's sad. Um, but I practice my Italian, so it's like, you know, whatever. Um, so I love that. And I think Winona would just watch porn. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fair answer, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have a question from Sam, and I don't know if Mel's going to be able to answer this, but it says, what is your favorite kind of tea? And I did not answer this question, but I thought it was appropriate. Ooh, it's a toss-up between Earl Grey. Ooh. I love an English breakfast. Uh, I also really like Roybus. Yes, yes <laughs> right? Um, okay, there's a list, so I can just continue. Um, but yeah, I do also like just like a nice tisane, like a, like a, just sometimes just a chamomile, sometimes just a... Just a, like a, a mint kind of tea, ginger. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot. You do love a ginger. Um, <laughs> ginger. I walked right into that one. That was great. That was great. That was quick, I Mel. Do that love was quick. You like that? <laughs> I, I think I, if I'm going to have a tea, I'm going to choke down like a lemon ginger. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We can, we can do, like, what's your favorite go-to drink at the moment, maybe, I like, mean. coffee. Yeah. Is there, is there a particular, like, place you're like, this is heavenly coffee? When you've worked at Starbucks, <coughs> the problem is, and I think, I, should I say this? I'll get in trouble. But, like, there's a theory going around amongst real coffee connoisseurs that it, like, burns your mouth into, it, like, trains you to only love Starbucks. Is that a true thing? I don't know, but I really like Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> so like checks. Kind of. But I, I go to independent, I, I just try to discover, like I like anything with ambiance and I'll, I'll drink the coffee because honestly when you're, you have a problem as bad as I do, which Charlotte was like, if that's your problem, you're doing fine. And I'm like, good point. She's um, not wrong. 
yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. Um, so it's more about the atmosphere for me than the actual copy. Okay, that's cool. I have a little sort of game thing. Um, so I thought I'd do like a word association, like just to wake everybody up a little bit. So um, if you say the first thing that comes to your mind when I say the following words, they are kind of all related to why not up, but whatever comes into your head, okay? Oh, God. Already, okay. Uh, bonfire. Bong fire. <laughs> Whiskey. Oh. Fair enough. Donut. Oh, well, that was rather premature with the whiskey, wasn't I? <laughs> um. <laughs> Bacon. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Vanilla dipped. Vanilla dipped. Perfect. Boobs, and I had to say this one. <laughs> Yes, always. Excellent. <laughs> um, homestead. Love. <laughs> Gotta clean the stairs. <laughs> Sister. Huh? Sister. Donnie. Melly. Oh. Wings. Donnie. Uh, I don't know. Wings. <laughs> yeah, butterfly. Um, Nicole. Hot. Ginger tea. <laughs> and um, why not up? Home. <laughs> Sorry. STD. <laughs> tea all day. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit early. We put this one first. I'm I sorry. know. It's like. Yeah. It's all right. None of us are awake no, you're yet. Good. It's fine. Um, so, just a random question, like, what guy, what are you guys doing at the moment? If you've got like projects and stuff coming up, or anything you want to kind of promote and things like that? Melly, do you want to go first this time? <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm writing a, a a movie at the moment, and uh, yeah, going on a bit of an adventure. Um, can I say it's a a new a new journey of writing a movie? That's what I've got. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah, and I'm um, I, I just finished a thing that I hope you watch. Um, can't say what it is probably maybe I can and I'm just scared fuck it um and I'm directing Heartland and Surreal Estate nice <laughs> and also uh obviously I've been working very hard with my beautiful Start the Wave community um and we have, we have our submissions for funding open currently. So if anybody knows any wonderful projects that are creating change anywhere in the world, uh, please direct them to our website where they can apply for uh, a grant, a bit of funding. Thank you. So obviously we didn't get a season five, but hopefully we will. Is there anything you think the Earth Sisters you'd like to see in, se in the season five or any other ones? Like if we do get any more seasons or a movie, is there anything you think the, these haven't been on this journey and you'd like to see it? Hmm. I would love to see some just like classic Earth Sister stuff. 
like episode eight, season four style. Like exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just like good, fun, connection, silliness. That was good for the soul, shooting right? that. Like it was one of those things where you're just like, uh, I feel happy yeah. doing this right now. Yeah. But yeah, just a season of that. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you know, a lifetime of that. Yeah. And like, if they've, I don't know how, you just mentioned yesterday that like Winona wouldn't have been away for that long. But who knows what M has in mind. So I feel like we need like a really great like reunion episode where they have they, all the classics, you know, like we need a fire. Yes. We need a bonfire. Like, you know, just like a real beautiful emotional scene. Maybe you've been to see Alice. <gasps> yeah, Waverly meets Alice. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, just some proper family yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's fair. I've come to the end of my questions, but I'll think of some on the spot. It's fine. <laughs> um, so, um, think anyone got any questions and shout them at me and while you think of one oh no while you think of one um but what do you think waverly would do with alice that is a good question i like this question it would be very cute what did you say bring her home, bring her home. Yeah, and I feel like Waverly would, I don't know, I mean, it depends how old Alice is now, but I feel like we'd make a, a garden. Like, we would do gardening together and plant some vegetables. Oh, uh, don't plant another talisman. I know, that's true. Uh. We've got to put away from Pikachu as well. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, do cute home things, like planting planting vegetables and... Do you think Alice would walk in on you guys constantly? <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. She'd be a uh, younger Rachel, yeah. But a young yeah. Winona. <laughs> well. huh? Alice would be an interrupter. <laughs> that would be well awkward. That would just be I, not the one. At the beginning. You're just like, uh... uh. Auntie. <laughs> Auntie Waverly. So where do you think Winona and Doc have gone? Do you think that they've gone to find Alice? And like what happened? Do you, in your mind, obviously we don't know what Emily envisioned, but do you think that's where they went and they made it? Well, I think they went to get Alice. And I think things happened along the way. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> I mean, that happened too, but um, <laughs> I think then there would be in classic Winona style, she's cursed. So I think getting to Alice would be a whole challenge of its own. It would be like its own mini spinoff. Oh, right. I think that would be hilarious. Like the ventures of Winona and Doc on a motorcycle. Yeah. And constantly texting Waverly, being like, okay, I, I'm on this highway you said. <laughs> and you're like, no, it's the other one. And then we just have a, a, a row. Is that what you say here? A row? A row? A row. A row. A row. <laughs> a row, a row. <laughs> you row a boat? No, you, you row, row a boat. boat. Yeah. So it's the same word, different. A row. A row, yeah. Is that before? You're welcome. <laughs> English. Um, so obviously, um, oh, got the five minute warning. That's cool. Um, so as we're finishing off, I just wanted to say on behalf of me and everybody else here, thank you so much for the roles that you play in this show. Like it means a lot to a lot of people. And um, obviously one owner up is like a massive for everybody here and including me, it's like changed my life. So uh, thank you very much. And is there anything you want to say to the fans, obviously in case we don't get a season five, but like anything you want to say to the fans? Well, you're all amazing. I'll start there. Um, you know, 
endings are hard. Um, ooh, I was just getting a bit choked up there. Um, but no matter how it, it ends, it, it doesn't really end. It just evolves into something else. And what you've created and what we see here is completely magic. And that will never go away. And the amount of people that we've found through this show that have become chosen family is beyond anything any of us could have ever imagined. Um, so I guess, yeah, just hold that in your heart if ever you get the blues around the show coming to an end. Um, but also, you never know, it might we might be surprised, you know? We've been surprised so many times <laughs> along this journey. Um, and yeah, I just wanna thank you really, um, more than anything else. I mean, this, this role, this journey has been just the most impactful thing that could have ever happened to me personally. And it's thanks to all of you coming to these conventions, me being surrounded by community, seeing just the most beautiful reflections, um, that I have had the courage to do the inner work to live my authentic truth. And I don't think you'll ever be able to understand how much you each impacted me. Um, and I will be forever grateful. So thank you, like everyone. This journey has been life-changing. This show has, I think it's safe to say, has changed our lives, it's changed my life. Um, and I, I also, yeah, likewise, found a community that accepts us as we are, and that's so rare. Mm. Um, and given me confidence that I hope everyone else has been able to find as well, with each other, it's given me a confidence of being like, well, these are wonderful people and they think I'm okay, so maybe I am. And I hope that you have that too. Yeah. And thank you for that. Okay, so can we give it up for Dom and Mal. The Earp sister panel has been done. Thank you. Thank you.